Hey, happy readers! Welcome to Children's Books, read aloud by Happy Cultivated. Randy Riley's Really Big Hit by Chris Van Dusen. Click that subscribe button for more children's books. That night before he went to sleep, Randy scanned the sky, and through his Space Boy telescope, a glimmer caught his eye. He fiddled with the focus till he saw it crystal clear. It was a massive fireball, and it was coming near. Alarmed, he started plotting the projection of its path. He formulated diagrams. He double-checked his math. He calculated quickly and concluded with a frown. In 19 days, the fireball would crash into his town. Randy Riley flew downstairs to warn his mom and dad. The impact would be major and the damage would be bad. He explained the situation until his face was red, but they told him he was tired and they sent him off to bed. Poor Randy couldn't sleep at all. He thought the whole night through. By morning, it was obvious just what he had to do. He gathered what he needed with determined resolution and lugged it off behind the shed to work on his solution. Randy toiled for 18 days while other kids had fun, but he was on a mission, so he worked till he was done. At breakfast on the 19th day, the news announcer said, This is a special bulletin. Emergency. Code red. A fireball's approaching. It just flew past the moon. It's coming fast, so be prepared for it to hit by noon. Everybody burst outside as fear and panic grew. But Randy ran back to the shed. He had a job to do. He grabbed the tarp and gave a tug. It slid off to reveal the mighty mammoth robot man he'd welded out of steel. The robot needed power and Randy knew precisely that 97 batteries would energize it nicely. The eyes lit up, the engine whirred, Step one was now complete. So far, so good, thought Randy. Then they thundered down the street. Step two of Randy's mission took place just south of town, in a section known as Millville, where he slowed the robot down. The robot ripped the smokestack off an old abandoned mill. <laughs> then Randy turned the throttle knob to march him up the hill. Back in town, the people were as frightened as could be. But Randy knew the time had come for critical step three. The robot burst out through the trees, stepped up, and took a stance, while everyone fell silent as if frozen in a trance. Randy's eye was on the ball. No room for error now. Three, two, one and flip the switch. A swoosh. And then. Kapow! A blinding flash. A booming crash. He knew what he had done. Randy Riley had hit his very first home run. The fireball sailed out of sight. A rousing cheer began. Hooray for Randy Riley and his giant metal man. And as the crowd went crazy, Randy stood there with a grin and mumbled, how predictable, a fastball, low and in.
When things returned to normal after Randy saved the day, he went back to the baseball field to join his friends at play. And though he swings in earnest, he rarely hits the ball. But that's okay, cause Randy's had the biggest hit of all. Thanks for reading with Happy Court Faded. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new books. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.